Hi, and welcome to Rediscovered Vintages Thrifting Thursday video. This is where I share my thrift finds and my plans on what I'm going to do with them. So if you're new, welcome. Thank you for watching. I have a lot of exciting news, so I'll try not to make this too long, but I wanted to make sure to get all of this exciting information out. So the first big thing is, is I'm going to start having my videos on YouTube. I've had a lot of requests for this, and so I will be um, posting them on YouTube once a week. And I also will make sure to have the link on Facebook. So if you've been following along on Facebook, you can still check it out there and um, just click on the link and it will take you right to the YouTube video. And um, I'm also launching a website. So that will have my video links on it. It will have some before and after pictures or some um, different videos in my shop that I'm going to be doing as well as it will give you an opportunity to purchase my items but you can also still purchase them on Etsy so it just gives another option for people who are looking for vintage type items to find them on my website so I'm super excited about this so please make sure to check out all of the different new pages that I have YouTube and my website make sure to share them like them. Um, this is very exciting for me and all those clicks help support my business and help bring more people um, in so that they can discover what I have to offer. So let's get started on the thrift finds. So I found some really great trivets. I love these wheat design on here and here is also a little one. And I just thought these were such, such nice little decor pieces. I like the iron, um, the iron trivets. So both of these will be out there and I'm going to be selling them um, for $15.95 for the large one and $8.95 for the smaller one. And let's see. Okay, so this one, if you know for sure what this is, Please let me know because I think that it's a matchstick holder. That is my guess, but it is a brass. I'm going to say a matchstick holder, but I thought this was such a neat piece and it would be really neat if you just even stuck a few um, like flowers in it and hung it on a wall um, or set it up with some um, other display that you have, but, or just used it for matchsticks. I thought this was a really neat find and that one will be out there for $22.95. I haven't seen too many of these around, so I thought this was a really unique piece. And then um, I found this cast iron heart holder, which I thought, oh, that is just so neat. I love the detail and the star in the middle. And this one I am going to be um, doing for $23.95. Um, it is solid cast iron and um, again, just a neat access, accent piece or even if you want to hang it on the wall, put it on a tiered tray, tuck it in a basket, it would just be a really nice addition. And then this I was really excited about. This is a very vintage copper mold. It's the tin line mold. Um, I don't see these very often. This is super heavy duty. Um, and most of the time the copper ones are really thin and flimsy. So this is an oldie. It's got that great vintage patina on it. And so um, this one will be out there for $55. Again, this is a really hard to find rare piece and it has the awesome patina on it. So um, be sure if you're interested in this one, I think this one will get snatched up. And let's see, this one, I found this wire basket and I just kind of set it up with how I would display it um, for fall. And I think I might include um, the fall decor in it as an option because I know some people don't have access easily to the stuff. What do you put in it and what do you do with it? But um, it would be beautiful with gourds in it. Um, it has this nice kind of vintage uh, patina green on it. So it's a black and green, um, but beautiful. I thought just a piece to um, display fall gourds or pumpkins, but even for fruit, if you wanted to put it on your counter, that would be nice too. And then let's see, this teapot, 
I found. It kind of looks plain right now. It is plastic, but I was thinking that I will mount it on a board with some hooks for like a key holder. And I thought this would be just really, I'm going to repaint it. And I thought it would be a neat addition for someone's farmhouse um, country cottage kitchen. So that I think I'll have good plans for. And then this, I found this cute little basket. I thought, oh, this is so cute. It's in great condition. So I'm going to paint this up and then do some kind of um, label on the front. And I thought it would just be a great little, you could even store things in it, like, you know, little junk that you have lying around. You don't want people to see on your counter. So I thought this is going to make such a cute piece. And this, oh, the basket, I'm thinking will be around $22.95 after I paint it and fix it up. And then this piece, this copper canister, again, I think this is another oldie. It has a um, brass handle on the top. It is have a lot of aging to it, but I think that's what makes these pieces unique. And I thought it had such an interesting lid on the inside, so I'm not entirely certain what this was for, but um, maybe for storing tea. Um, the inside is black, so, um, but very, very unique vintage piece and copper. And so this one's going to be going for $22.95. And then I found this cute little lantern and I have an idea of this for Christmas. Um, I'll probably do like a little Christmas scene on the inside, but it is really pretty how it is. So if you're interested in this, just as it is, it is a light kind of farmhouse blue. Um, just send me a message and we can um, get together on, on that. But otherwise, I think I'm going to um, gear it up for Christmas. And then I found this pile of books. And I love old vintage books. This one is, I thought was so cool, Practical Carpentry. So if you like even looking at old books, but I mean, this is an old one. Um, and then I found just several others. So I will be putting these probably together in bundles, um, but I might keep some of the red and green ones and um, do them bundled for Christmas. They make really pretty decorations. You can stick them in baskets. You can stick them, um, display them like this so you can see the nice vintage paper look on it so i think there's a lot of different things you can do use them as risers so i really like the the vintage book decor and then i found this cute um brass and copper which i thought was very unique angel um she has uh the headpiece is copper and the wings are copper and the rest is brass. So I thought that was really a pretty piece. And she is going to be going for, let's see, a $15.95. So perfect for Christmas if you're starting to think that already. And I also found this cute little cherub candle stick holder. So I have to clean it up. And I am going to paint it just to bring some different detail out. So if this is something you're interested in and want it painted a certain color, just let me know because I have lots of great colors to choose from. Um, otherwise, I'll probably just paint it like a neutral color, either white or maybe um, give it a concrete look. So um, I thought that was just cute. And that will be about $18.95 when it's all painted up. And then, let's see, oh, okay, these I was super excited about. These are vintage round photos, but I loved the picture inside. If you have a French country or cottage style home, look at those. The wood is in good condition. It has this nice gold rim around it. Most of the time, these are plastic. Um, yeah pretty sure this is wood now that I'm looking at it. Yes, it is wood. And um, they're still sealed on the back. So I mean, these are just such a beautiful find and I'm going to be selling those for um, $40 for the set. And then let's see, I found this and these I have a plan for. So I'm going to paint this um, and 
I may or may not, I might just put a picture here and leave the board or replace the chalkboard. Um, but I'm gonna put flowers in here and this is gonna get a whole revamp. And this will be when it's done sometime in the, somewhere in the 40 to $50 price range. But watch for this flip because I think this is gonna be really beautiful when it's done. And the same with this one. This is a nice, um, nice heavy duty uh, hanger. Everything's in really good shape. So I'm gonna replace out the two pictures and paint it. And then I'll probably add some clay mold detail here. Um, and I think I'm just gonna go white with it and with aging and distressing. So I think this will be a lovely piece and this will be 40 to $50 again. And if, again, if there's anything you see that you're like, oh, I'd really like that, just let me know because I can do it custom for you. And then the last thing I have, I was so excited about this. So yeah, this is kind of a funny story, but so I found this spoon. So you have to love vintage when you look at this spoon and you're like, oh, that's something I could do something with. My husband looked at it and he thought I was nuts when he thought I brought it home. So, but I showed him because I was reading my farmhouse magazine and there is the exact spoon painted white, which is what I was going to do with it. So I was super excited that it was in this magazine. So I'm going to be painting this white and, um, this will probably be right in the $40 range. It's probably going to be a little expensive to ship. So I have to kind of figure that in there, but look at this great detail. So painted white and distressed. This is going to be a neat piece for someone's kitchen. So that is all I have today. Again, if you like this video, share it, like it, tell people about it. It just helps my business, helps me um, be able to go out and find these great things for you. And also to give all of these things a good home because a lot of these things would have just ended up in the trash pile. So, um, so let me know um, anything that you would like and um, you can send me a message or check out my store. I'm going to try to have everything posted from this video by like the weekend after. So if it's not posted yet and you're super interested in it, just um, private message me and I will um, set it aside for you. So that's it. And again, please check out my website, my YouTube site, Instagram and Facebook. And thank you again for watching. Have a great day.